Hey, welcome to this new lecture. This is the most important lecture you have had so far in this course. So please try to make the most of it. And this is actually a new video that I'm adding to the course. I didn't have this lecture a few times ago, so I added this quite a while after I published the course. And until now, I had explained this concept, so the errors, little by little in other lectures, but I felt that, that was not enough and I was seeing that students uh, were still uh, having difficulties in understanding and, and dealing with errors in Python. So I decided to make a dedicated uh, lecture for errors in Python. So here we are. And uh, I said this is the most important lecture because, you know, we, we learn about functions and uh, strings and numbers uh, until now in the previous videos. And these are individual concepts that, you know, you'll learn uh, now or later, you'll learn functions and strings and etc. But if you don't know how to read an error, how to, uh, to understand an error and deal with it, if you don't know that, you will have troubles dealing with uh, everything, every other object like functions and strings and numbers, etc. So understanding an error and knowing how to deal with it, how to fix it is very important. And even the most experienced programmers, they make errors in their programs. Uh, the difference is that they know how to, to, to read these errors, how to, to understand them and fix them. But everyone makes errors. So if an error shows in your program, don't panic. Just follow the instructions that I'll give you in this video on how to fix the error. So that's what this lecture is about. So what is an error anyway? An error in a program is a bug that causes the program to function incorrectly. Now, in Python, we have basically two types of errors. We have syntax errors and we have exceptions. Let's first focus on syntax errors and let's forget about exceptions. We'll go uh, to exceptions after we explain syntax errors. I have this code here and actually um, this is a Python file. This is the icon showing on a Mac. So I, I, currently I am on a Mac computer. But that doesn't make the slightest difference, no matter where you are, Linux, Windows or Mac, everything is the same. And so, uh, I have the terminal here and let me go ahead and execute this program. This has a, a few errors, so let me show them. On Mac you can uh, call Python 3 with the Python 3 command, on Windows you can just call Python or whatever command you are using. You can also use any editor that you like. And so errors.py is the name I, I gave to the script. Execute. So, um, this is now an uh, example of a syntax error. And this is the entire body of the error message. And this is very important. So, whenever you get an error, the first advice I give you is don't panic. Just focus on the error, read it line by line, just like you're reading a poem or uh, whatever. So, the first line of the error points you to the name of the file that has the error. In this case, it's errors.py. Then you have a comma, and after the comma you have the line where the error occurred. So it's line 3, and you can see here that line 3 is this one here. But you also have, for your convenience, Python prints out the line in the terminal. So int 9, here is where the error is. And just after that, you have the type of the error. So it's a syntax error. You also have other types of errors, such as name error, type error. But those are exceptions. And I'll explain later why we call them exceptions. So this is one type of the error, a syntax error, and the others are exceptions. So this is a type. And then you have a description after the column. Sometimes the description is more specific, more detailed. Uh, this time it's just invalid syntax. Uh, so you have to figure out uh, where you, you, you did some error, where you, you missed some syntax of, of, of your program. And you also have this arrow here pointing upwards. And the arrow uh, points you either at the token that the error is occurring, or at the end of the token. So a token is, uh, you know, this is a token in this case, nine. So it can be a number, it can be a string, anything. 
so at this point this is pointing at this at the token but it can it could also be like that 999 save the script as a cute uh, in this case you see that it's pointing you at the end of a token um, so here's around here you have an error now and I know that int is actually a function and functions in Python they need to have brackets so you need to pass 999 inside brackets like that and you leave that save and execute again all right you've got another error but don't panic again this is my advice always mm. uh, instead of read the error it says file errors.py the file line 5 oh line 5 this time so it's not line 3 anymore which means that line 3 was fixed so what python is doing is it's going through all the lines one by one from top to bottom it checks the first line it says oh it's fine no error there goes to the next line no error goes to the third line no error this time fourth line is also fine and fifth line has a, an error so again it's a syntax error and this one is more specifically described so uh, missing parentheses in call to print note that you'll get this error only if you are on python 3 if you are on python 2 uh, this won't be an error because in python um, 2 print was a statement and was not a function so uh, with statements like return or print in python 2 you didn't have to pass brackets this syntax would be correct so again this arrow here is pointing you at the token so we just add brackets there Control s to save the script and execute again this time we don't get any error so the script executed fine and printed out the output here one two three so we had three print functions printing out output this doesn't return any output because we're, we're not printing anything so, so this just uh, gets the function input and produces some output but that doesn't print anything if you want to print it you want to pass the print statement uh, function there there could also be other types of syntax errors and you know such as you want to define a list one two and three but instead of uh, closing it with a square bracket you use a round bracket instead like that save the script and execute and you see that you got a syntax error invalid syntax at line 5 which is this one in here again the arrow points you at the token so you need to figure out how to fix this round bracket here and you know that you need to close it with a square bracket so that should fix the issue so these are so that's about syntax errors they are very easy to fix in the next lecture i'll explain exceptions so see you there